Sometimes taking a walk is all you need to get yourself out of an emotional rut. What's up YouTube, I'm Marissa Rojas. I'm a filmmaker from San Diego, California. Welcome to my channel. I make videos about my experiences as a Filipino queer female living, living her life in her 20s. And in this month of October, I've committed to making a video every other day about a self-love or self-care practice. And today we're talking about taking walks, going for a walk. So I'm currently going through a healing process. I'm three months in, so I'm in a lot better state than I was three months ago. Um, but honestly, in that first month, it w as you can imagine, was the hardest. And I felt super anxious and um, my mind would just go to places it really shouldn't go. Like it's super dark and just uh, self, like real dark, self-deprecating, self-shaming um, places. And it was like very difficult for me to, to I mean, I, I think anyone can agree, like it's so difficult when you're there in that darkness of your mind to, to break yourself out of it, especially if you're just like sitting still or you're like, you're in your room or even when you're at work at your desk, um, it's so hard to just break out of it. So I found that walks is definitely, going for a walk definitely helps you break out of that. At least it, it gets your body moving. So you're kind of not just like staying there in that stuck energy. And you kind of, even though like, yes, if you're moving your body, it kind of helps your mind get out of that place too. So yeah, in that first month, and even now I still have to, on my break, you know, of course I can't always just go walk up and, you know, from my desk and stop doing my work, but I would, uh, you know, on my breaks, my 15 minute breaks, I would go take my phone, take my headphones and go for a walk. And uh, as I said, it helps you break the thought patterns, you know, if you find yourself like your thoughts just like, and I feel like it's like a domino effect. Like you'll think one bad thought, one negative thought, and then all of a sudden just a whole floodgate of thoughts start just bombarding your mind and it's just a terrible place to be. So first step is to get up, go for a walk. You know, if you have music that you want to put in and usually you want to listen to more upbeat music rather than sad. I mean, but again, I know we're all different. Um, walking, especially when you are in a healing process, like I feel like there's a lot of us that do, do tend to stay at home or stay in our rooms or stay in bed um, for a good amount of time. And like, of course, yes, there's a time and place for that. But even if you don't do anything major that day, at least going for a 10, 20 minute walk is definitely beneficial for your health. Um, again, uh, physically, mentally, emotionally, just again, it's it, you, you get yourself out of the house, you're moving your body, you're getting fresh air, and um, that helps you think clearer, at least for the time that you are on the walk. And I guarantee you, it'll, it'll make you feel better. And like, just like being outside and like actually getting to like enjoy the day and um, you know, looking up at the sky, at the trees, and just again, taking time for yourself and, uh, um, you know, listening to your fav favorite music, whatever it is. I think it's just helpful. Um, I know like a lot of the things I've talked about in this uh, self-love October seem like super small things, but when it comes to a day-to-day -day battle with your mind and just like, learning how to heal yourself and you know to find your way through the pain i think it's it's it really is the little stuff that matters it's the, every little moment you can do to make yourself feel at least a little bit better or just get through a moment where it just feels like it's not and it's never going to end you know this pain isn't going to end your grief is not going to end i really think the small things add up and again like every day is going to look different um, it really is the small things that matter in the long run um, because it's a process. Again, I, I've, I've called it a healing process. It is a process where, you know, you have to take the necessary steps. <laughs> Not to be literal, you know, for this video, but, you know, go for a walk and just take it one step at a time and, and allow yourself to feel better. So, yeah. <laughs> so... If you haven't today and if you feel like you know you want to break the pattern of your thoughts or maybe you just like haven't uh gotten out of your room today like go for a walk real quick like even if it's just around the block go for a walk and 
I guarantee you'll feel at least a little bit better. Anyways, that's all I have for you guys today. Once again, I'm Mercer Rojas. I'm a filmmaker from San Diego, California. Thank you for joining me along on Self Love Vlogtober. Um, I won't see you tomorrow, but I'll see you the next day. Until then, stay strong and take care.